This is a Heimer B-Class master line. It's the BLMT 780, and huge thanks to whoever wrote that on the number plate because I wouldn't have remembered it otherwise. But this is a really nice piece of kit. For a start, I love the colour. I think it looks really smart in that metallic silver with the black wheels. And they're a nice quality machine, these. They're German built and they look superb. But the engineering is the big news on these. So if we have a look around, for example, you've got things like the double floor. So you've got the floor here, but the floor of the vehicle is actually up here. So it gives you this full pass through underneath for things like picnic tables and chairs, all that kind of stuff. You've also got access to the plumbing here. So that's all inside there. And this one is for your gas bottles. And if we head on a bit further back, they also have this really big garage, which of course is massively useful. And even here, they've detailed it with this finish, with these shelves in here, with the lighting, even the Heimer logo across the back. As I say, it's all in the details with these vehicles. It's a nice piece of kit. We'll walk right around the back. It's based on a Mercedes, as you can see. Got reversing camera on this one as well and the tow bar in fact and a huge awning on it i think that's a five meter awning from memory anyway let's go and have a look inside because that is the best bit this is um it's the other side of that garage so you've got access from both sides this is interesting I actually put a little shower in here so if you want to wash off your bikes before you put them in or whatever else that's good to go that's where your mains power goes in. That's the cassette for the toilet. And that's the other side of that pass through, like so. Anyway, let's head on in, because this is quite an impressive piece of kit. So we're up to the front, first of all, I mentioned this is based on the Mercedes. It's actually got a 170 horsepower diesel engine, but also because it's Mercedes based, you get all the latest MBUX navigation and infotainment and media and all that stuff. I wonder if we can power this up for you. There we go. So this is very similar to what you get in all the latest cars. This is just a cover that's over it at the minute, um, just to protect it because it is brand spanking new. You obviously peel that off once it's in use. But this then gets you into, it's on radio at the moment, but you can go into um, maps on here, so navigation, all that kind of stuff. Reversing camera is on here as well. It's a very nice piece of kit. And of course the latest Mercedes steering wheel there tucked in behind the seat, which is swiveled around. Obviously when you're driving, you turn it the way around, otherwise it would be a little bit tricky, wouldn't it? And then if we come back a little bit from there, all these have got blinds in. So these pull across like this. There's another one then across the windscreen, of course. And then you've got skylights in here. So there's a load of light and ventilation into here. Some nice lighting as well. The way they set all this in, all indirect, all the way around here. That's really good. And as we drop on down then, we've got power sockets, but also USB sockets, opening windows with blinds again. And then this area here, this has actually got, if we look underneath here, seat belts. So you can have four people, two here, obviously, and two up here. And there's another little seat there. So this makes into a really nice social area. Now this is nearly eight meters long. I think it's a 7.89 from memory. So it's a lot of motorhome, loads of space in here. Storage up in places like this, tucked away. This one up here, if we light that up. That is the Heimer Connect monitoring system and control system for the whole vehicle. It's just reflecting a bit there, that's better. Uh, and so we can go into all kinds of stuff on here. You can got a major override for the lighting so you can switch everything off. You can control your boiler, your water pumps, your 12 volt systems, all kinds of stuff. Even the locking can be controlled from here. Water tank there, grey water tank, so how full they are. That's a useful bit of kit, and I think I'm right in saying you can link that up to an app as well, so you can control that from your phone, which is useful. I love the features like this, where they put this panel into here, all nicely upholstered, even little Heimer logo in places like this, and then this is all backlit as well. It's really nicely done. Feels like a quality item. Storage all the way along here, and then over here, you've got fridge freezer. What's really nifty about this is the fact that if you're sat here and want to grab yourself a drink, well then that's no problem. But if you're in the kitchen here and you want to get something out of the fridge, <laughs> then you open it that way. 
And another thing that is rather neat in this area is, if we open that fella up, there's a little switch inside there, and that powers up the TV. And so that's actually a pretty decent size. I think that's a 32 inch, that one, which is bigger than you often get in motorhomes. Even there, they've put the Heimer logo on it. As I say, the attention to detail on this is brilliant. Let's tuck that back away. There we go. Now directly behind that, of course, is the kitchen itself. So you've got a nice cooker here, three burner hob, and then the separate grill underneath and oven underneath that. So really good for catering. These are excellent, really massive storage drawers underneath there. These are the light switches, again, concealed lighting everywhere. More storage on that one. And you can see it down there as well. More opening windows. These are what blinds that drop down over them like so. That's rather neat, isn't it? So you can bring that one right down and run that either way. Ha, look at that. Fantastic. I've not seen that before. And then these again, all open up, a load more storage, all nicely shelved out. Little fiddles on there as well, so stuff doesn't come crashing out if you've been moving things around while you've been driving. Now, if we head on back a little bit further, we will find hanging locker in there and again, shelving as well. So that's a really useful space more of that funky lighting tucked away in places like that and then back here this gets quite clever because what they have done is separated off the shower on that side but then the toilet is over here like so and what's really great is the fact that this door will actually come all the way across and you'll see it's designed to fit perfectly into there. So you just want to close that off and have a bit of privacy at this end of the vehicle. Well, then you've got it. But actually, if you're sharing the space and there's people up there that want to use that, there is another one here. A little release up behind here. I can do this with one hand. And a GoPro. Yes, I can. There we go. So you can slide that across like that. So there are two ways of enclosing this area, depending on exactly how you're using the vehicle, either to include the bathroom area or not. A lot of thought gone into this. And then sleeping up here. Now you can infill this and make this into a double if you wish. Another rather neat touch. You've got the two steps up here. Of course, these are fairly high because your garage is under here. But if you're finding that a little bit of a stretch up, what you can do is open this one. And then this comes out like so. That comes right over. There we go. And that gives you extra steps up. Obviously, that one then drops down again. There we go. And that just makes life a little bit easier to get into bed. Brilliant. It's all in the details, isn't it? Let's put that one away again. And then up here, again, as you'd expect, just a load of storage places like this across the back here. Got light switches in by the bed as well. It's just really nicely finished. Superb. Okay, let's come back out of here. That does look nice, doesn't it? Very impressive. I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to say huge thanks to the Irwin Heimer Centre. They've organised this tour and huge thanks, of course, to you all for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.